A lot of decisions go into making a movie. A lot, a lot. Just an insane, impossible number of decisions. What will the actor wear? Where will the scene be shot? Is the lighting dark? Is the lighting, um, light? When do you cut from the scene? When do you hold? Is the camera subjective? Objective? Is the filmmaking formalist? Realistic? Making movies is pretty much one million decisions with no real clear answers. So today, we're diving into one of these decisions that can kind of be overlooked. Aspect ratios. I mean, this doesn't feel like a big decision. Is it really that important if the film looks like this? Or like this? You might not always notice it, but it's always informing the way you take in visual information. Are you watching a character traveling across a desolate vista and you really want to feel their solitude? What better way than the 2.35 by 1 ratio? If the motion is primarily left and right, this might, emphasis on might, be the best ratio. Is the character seeing something larger than life, something that towers over them? Well, then you might choose the 1.85 by 1 aspect ratio. Increasingly, we are seeing filmmakers play with the form. In the last couple of years, movies are having a lot of fun with a boxier aspect ratio. Take 2018's mid-90s, where the filmmakers shot in the retro 1.33 by 1, which recalls that era's skateboard videos as well as early independent film. Or take The Lighthouse, which used the much rarer 1.19 by 1 aspect ratio that harkens back to the silent movie era. This aspect ratio also has the added bonus of adding to the sense of isolation and claustrophobia the characters are experiencing. And that's what a well-chosen aspect ratio does. It enhances the story. Sometimes it's not just what's in the frame. Sometimes it's about where does the frame stop. The aspect ratio is the window into the world. So, as filmmakers, we have a decision to make. What window is best for looking at this world?